In this video we're going to see how Microsoft can be used to style Gutenberg blocks. We're going to cover lots of cool stuff such as how Microthema can apply any style to anything on the page with point and click editing, how to create interesting mobile first grid layouts for Gutenberg blocks using drag and drop, and finally how to ditch media queries altogether by leveraging an incredibly useful CSS grid function that Microthema provides a shortcut for. So let's start by applying a selection of styles to a random Gutenberg block. We click the target button to enter targeting mode and then click on a block followed by the plus icon to create a selector. We can then add any number of styles such as background colour and we can set the font colour to light for contrast. We can also set some padding to give the text some space and apply a drop shadow. And finally, we can set some animation to make the block slide in. Among all of Microthema's styling options, the set people are getting particularly excited about at the moment is CSS Grid. Microthema 6 introduces drag and drop controls for CSS Grid, so we can easily create interesting layouts for our Gutenberg blocks that adapt to different screen sizes. To illustrate this, let's create a selector for the element that contains our Gutenberg blocks. With the 2020 theme, this element has the class Entry Content. It's sometimes useful to inspect the HTML of the page by expanding Microthema's advanced targeting options. To make our selector specific to the single page we're working on, let's also enable the Page ID modifier. Once we've created and optionally named our selector, The next step is to set up our grid by setting the display value to grid. Now all of our content blocks appear in the grid control area. We can easily set the number of rows and columns by simply dragging the grid boundary. And if we want to customise the default position of the items, we can move them around with drag and drop and even resize them. To adjust the layout for mobile, we simply go to one of Microthema's mobile tabs and define a new layout. However, that's the desktop first approach to design. Set things up for large screens by default and then make adjustments for mobile. For this example, I'm going to recommend the mobile first approach, where we set things up for mobile by default and then make adjustments for larger screens. I'm recommending this because it involves less work. If we only introduce columns for larger screens, there is no need to undo the column structure for smaller screens. The mobile first approach involves using min width media queries as opposed to max width media queries. We can easily switch to mobile first media queries via Microthema's Edit Media Queries screen. It's also a good idea to set the preview width of the All Devices tab to something small when adopting the mobile first approach. This just reminds us to apply default styles with small screens in mind. We can then save our new media query setup and see how things look on mobile. As it turns out, the columns we created before are making everything look squashed, so let's clear those styles. We can reset the positioning of individual grid items by dropping them onto the clear icon, or clear everything in one go by clicking the clear icon. Now our content fills the screen nicely. If we move on to our first breakpoint at 768 pixels, the content still fills the whole screen, and there probably isn't enough room for introducing new columns. However, if we move on to the 980 pixel breakpoint, we do have enough room, so we can set up two columns by simply dragging the grid boundary. Moving up further to 1200 pixels, two columns still feels comfortable. But then moving up again to 1400 pixels, we do have enough room for three columns. But if we want to create a more interesting structure, we can actually define a larger number of columns and then adjust the grid items to span different fractions of the grid. If, on the other hand, we only require a simple grid with a uniform number of columns in each row, there is a great time-saving trick that saves us having to use the responsive tabs at all. So let's clear everything we've done and start over. To create columns automatically, we just need to select a special function from Microthema's template columns menu. Now, if we slowly increase the size of the site preview, the columns get created automatically as soon as there is enough room. The default column width is 320 pixels when we use this function, but we can easily increase the number to specify wider columns. 
and we can still have the option of adjusting the layout of individual items at various breakpoints if we deem it necessary. So we're nearly done, but before I leave you, I would like to offer some tips for organising your Gutenberg blocks on the back end. We can load the Gutenberg editor without leaving Microthema by using the edit option in the WordPress toolbar. Because we've adopted the mobile first approach, we're not making use of Gutenberg's column block. Everything flows in a single column in the order it will appear on mobile. But one layout block that is useful is the group block. I group the headings and related text into single blocks using the group block. This meant that the headings and text could be moved around as a single block when we were defining our grid layout in Microthema. The other adjustment I recommend when working with the 2020 theme is to set the page to full width. That is, if you want to create a multi-column layout like the one we've done. For simple blog posts, the default narrow column layout is quite nice even for large screens. So I hope this brief demo has given you a good flavour of what you can do with Microthema. I invite you to try the online demo to see how this works for yourself. Simply go to themeover.com and click the live demo button. There you will find general instructions for using Microthema and a dedicated page for playing with the Gutenberg blocks that you've seen in this video. You will also find a dedicated page for CSS Grid. Scroll down to the bottom to learn exactly how to target the right grid container elements, even if you don't know HTML. If you'd like to try Microthema on your own site, you can sign up for a free month or pay once with a pro lifetime deal. If you have any questions at all, please open up a chat conversation or say hi in our friendly support forum.